Hello, it's good to see you all here again. And today's topic is actually going to be how to finish what you start. We've all come across it. You start writing a story, you're having a great time, it's fun. Something happens in the way and then suddenly you don't come back to that story for months or a year or years. I've been there. I know the difficulty of it. But here's a strategy I've found that helps you to get past the past and get back into the present and really enjoying writing that story again. A lot of people think of it as a project they have to restart and that's a very difficult thing to set down and then pick up where you left off. Instead of thinking of it like a project, think of it like a relationship. You know, you, you know what I mean. You've met you met someone in the past, you were great friends, time took you apart, and now suddenly circumstances have brought you back together for whatever reason. And the two of you stand there and you look at each other and you go, I know who you used to be, but are we still friends? And that can be a very difficult thing to do with a story because that story is actually a part of yourself. You're looking at an older, immature part of yourself that isn't the same you as you are now. So how can you start a relationship again with that story enough that you want to actually go and finish it? Well, there's several different steps you can do and you can use these to restart, repair, or reinvigorate old relationships too. The difference between old relationships and old stories is that old stories are one-sided. The only person you have to fix a relationship with is you. So there are a couple of steps you can do. This is where I advocate using my Pareto Blitz, where you sit down, you give yourself a short amount of time, and you just write out things. And there are three different blitzes you're going to do. The first one is, and take note of these, the first one is you write down as many as you can the reasons you got together. What excited you about that story in the first place? What was it in your head that made you want to put this out on paper or on video or whatever it was? What inspired you to start? Because it's good to understand that. That same inspiration might still be there. The second one you got to look at is what drove you apart? Did you run out of steam? You ran out of ideas? Did you run out of time? Did school get in the way? Did a job get in the way? Did dealing with other people get in the way? Or did you just get sick of the story as you were telling it? What drove you two apart? And I recommend a full minute blitz for this one and write as many things as you can because quite likely you're gonna look at all of those things and you're gonna see all of these either were avoidable back then or are avoidable now. And then the third one you do this is the tricky one. The third blitz you do is write down all the ways you have changed since you started. Or write down who you are now that is different from who you were back when you began writing the story. Also, write down who your story is. Think about it. Is your story mostly begun halfway through? Was it just an idea you had that you never quite got back to? Did you get towards the end, but then you lost steam, you lost inspiration, you lost something? Write down who that story is in relation to you, but also just what the, who that story is by itself. And once you get to know who that story is, then you have to look at the relationship between the two of you. And if you want to still finish it, then you have to say, I'm going to sit down, I'm going to figure out the things that drove us apart before, I'm going to remember all the things that made me want to get in there in the first place, take a deep breath and dive in. It doesn't have to be perfect. If any of you know what it's like to try and restart or recharge a person-to-person -person relationship, you know it's awkward and it's difficult, but ultimately if it's what you want, you need to go for it. You might need with your story to go back to a previous node or some place where you said, I still knew it clearly here. 
and then you erase everything after that point and you start over. I've had to do that with three or four stories. With my book, Mather's Odds, I got most of the way through the first part of it, Inheritance, and then I had more college work to do. And then I lost the original notebook it was in, so I had to restart it. You'll see at different points in my writing sometimes, I was a very mature author here, I was a very immature author here, and I grew in the meantime. So you might have to say, this part here no longer fits with what I used to be like. I gotta cut it back and start here and get going again. Or you might need to just restart entirely. Don't be ashamed of this. It means that it's important enough to you to bring into your present and reignite everything about it that was great to begin with. Don't be ashamed to restart a story. You will often find that your second start is so much better than your first. Or the third thing you might have to do, and I've had to do this with many stories too, is say, you're a great idea, you're a great story, and there's a lot of potential in you, but you aren't ready to be written. And I wasn't ready to write you when I began. I need to learn more about the thing, the themes I'd put inside of you, or I need you to sit in the slow cooker of my mind and gather more ideas before you are ready to be written, but I will come back to you. That's my advice for finishing a story you started. There is nothing quite so great as repairing a broken relationship. This is one of the key things about Christianity, restoring a broken relationship between God and man. It's one of the key major love story types, restoring a broken love. You'll see this theme played out in many different places. You had the opportunity as a writer to play out that story in your own life with yourself. Don't just dump an idea, especially if the idea lingers in your head and it says, I'm still here, I still want to be written. Find a way to go for it, because if it was worth starting, it's probably worth finishing. This is Chris Schallert, Idea Engine, encouraging you to take something old, no matter how old it is, and make something new. Peace out.